What's up everybody, Void here, and I just wanted to say that Multiverses is finally here. However, it's an early access. What that means, if you played in any of the previous tech tests, you will be able to play immediately, but if you didn't, then all you have to do is watch a Twitch stream with drops enabled for about an hour and you'll be able to play. Now, this early access period is gonna last about a week, so if you don't have time to watch a stream, then you, know, you just gotta wait about a week, it won't be too bad. With that being said, the first patch did release for Multiverses, and I'm really excited to go over it, so let's get into the video. Patch notes. So Iron Giant has arrived. So Iron Giant's in the game. Looks like there's a new map, Steven Universe, Ancient Sky Arena. Okay. Uh, and then local play is available. This is probably getting it ready for Evo. Uh, I'm so curious on how smoke works uh, on local play, um, but we'll, we'll have to get to that a little later. Uh, wall fatigue. Okay, after spending five seconds wall sliding without touching the ground, or starting to wall slide six times without touching the ground, oh, you start to wall slide progressively faster. After spending ten seconds wall sliding without touching the ground, or starting to wall slide eleven times without touching the ground, you suffer wall fatigue. Wall fatigue means sliding no longer resets your air specials in evade. You no longer get a double jump after wall jumping. Okay, this is good. For every 0.5 seconds of wall sliding, you lose dodge meter. Okay, this is good. Because uh, I was curious what would happen if people started just like planking on the wall, you know. Uh, they're just like, hey, we have a lead. We're just going to sit over here uh, for as long as we can. Because sometimes you can. It's good to have good defense by staying on the wall. So I'm happy it's 5 seconds instead of like 2, you know? Yeah, I, I think this is good. I think this is good. Uh, fire debuff decays over time. Oh, interesting, because you can stack it. Okay. Abilities that use ammo are now divided into two cooldowns. One cooldown to use the ability and one cooldown to refund ammo. Ability cooldown modifiers affect both equally. Okay. Glossary has been added to the main menu. Added two new advanced tutorials covering knockback, influence, KBI, and elemental interactions. I need to do this one. I still don't really know what uh, electric does. Okay, dodge. Invincibility frames are removed when canceling a dodge into an attack unless the dodge successfully dodges an attack. Yes, this is so good. This is so good. Uh, I was big, big complaining um, mentally because it felt like I was fighting uh, melee ledge dash in neutral all the time. So I think this is really good overall. It'll make the game feel a little less like guessy in comparison to uh, what it was at like super high scrambly situations. Unless you dodge an attack, which I, I also think that's cool because then you're not using your dodge attack to get in. Uh, you're kind of using your dodge attack when you're in. Does that make sense? I think that's that's a big deal. Then dodge jump movement increase slowed by 5%. Okay. Perks. Signature perks. Arya no longer has the wounded one, which I don't really know what it did. Honestly, I don't think Arya had great perks. I like the face one, which I don't think this is the face one. This is the other one. Something about like you have a knife in somebody and then you hit them. Something like that. Anyways, betrayal. Hitting an ally with Arya's dagger has a longer cooldown, but the ally is given an enraged buff. If Arya dashes to a dagger on an ally, she enrages herself. Ooh, I don't know what enrage does, but that sounds scary. That sounds really scary. Enraging yourself and your ally in comparison to doing like zero to death combos, uh, probably give or take. It, it has a lot of use though. I, I think that's cool. Uh, lingering love. Now has a cooldown. I think that's the kiss. It was forcing opponents to permanently alter the way they played against bugs and felt too oppressive. Okay, that's fair. Harley, Confetti Explosion. Now earnable through Character Mastery. What was that? Was that a signature perk? Could you not get it through Character Mastery? Did she only have one perk before? <clears throat> Superman New, Break the Ice. Superman deals additional damage to fighters debuffed by ice. The additional damage scales with stacks of ice. Whoa, okay, okay. I think Superman Velma teams might get a lot better because I think Velma was the best user of the ice perk. Taz, uh, I don't actually know Taz's perks. I feel like I feel like the right back at you was the tornado reflect one. That sounds like the tornado reflect one. 
New, I gotta get in there. Taz's allies can jump into his dog pile, giving it more damage, more knockback, longer duration, and armor. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, general perks. Many perks have been renamed. New perk, armor crush. Teens fully charged attacks break armor. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just happy, like, if I'm having trouble with armor as Tom and Jerry, I can use my paddle because it is chargeable. Uh, static electricity, charge time reduced to 4 seconds. No longer charges without grounded movement. Oh, so you have to be moving on the ground. Okay. Fire projectile. Ignite duration is 1 and stack duration is 2. I think that's good because these debuffs lasted a really long time, which led to it doing a lot of damage and being very... Uh, Oppressive, I think is the word that I'm thinking of. Same thing with the ice. I think it's good to nerf ice as well. Absorb and go. Uh, ability refund. Okay. Ability cooldown refund reduced to 7. That's fair. Um, retaliation ready, which is gray health. Gray health duration is down to 3 and stacked is down to 4. That's good. That's like really not a lot. Before it was 8. Eight is a lot. You like negate a whole move. This is like half a move per interaction, only for your partner. I don't think it's as good. So LeBron and Walter White, that'd be interesting. All right, characters. Um, neutral air earlier branch on hit. Okay, I think that's good. More recovery when whiffed. Okay. Are you grounded and up special on hit movement follows more consistent? Oh, that's scary. Aerial and grounded down special. Quote on reduced to 20 from 20 to 18. Okay, and that is the I think that's the one where she goes, she like dashes to her partner. Grounded up attack, it's like Marth up tilt. Earlier on hit cancel frame, so I'll have to calm more reliably. That's cool. Uh side air hitbox was shrunk. <laughs> I don't even think that move was that big to begin with. Uh it's a really good kill move though. Okay. Ground side one. More whiff recovery. Cool. I, I like the idea of whiff recovery. If you guys don't know, you can cancel a lot of moves on hit in this game. So I, I think whiff recovery is really good. The goal of these Batman changes are to give Batman earned ring out power and additional team utility. Giving a number of different attacks of Comrades to give Batman the ability to stack and maintain weakened debuff on the enemy. Okay. Grapple can be canceled out of using jump or dodge. Oh, that's cool. So you can grapple somebody, but you don't have to commit. Um... While in smoke, Batman and allies ignore enemy projectiles. What? What? That's that's kind of nuts. Uh, Batarang on hit now applies one stack of weakened debuff. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, up air two. He has like a two two hit up like up swipe. Oh, interesting. A lot of his attacks apply weaken. That's cool. Yes, they actually nerfed this. I hated this, dude. I hated having to just perma respect the tunnels and have to whiff punish. Um, so I think this is a good nerf personally. Uh, aerial and grounded neutral special. What's neutral special? The safe. Bugs and allies do damage to the safe when attacking it. The safe could... Oh, so this way... Because uh, they used to be able to hit it and move it, but it doesn't count as damage. Uh, this should provide more opportunities and openings for the enemy team. Okay, okay. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Uh, Finn. Finn was kind of ridiculous. Um, grounded down attack. I hit one and hit two chain together. That's good. Second hit. Reduced knockback. Uh, okay. Area grounded and up special. Um, that's this backpack. That's good. Connectivity uh, fixes, I think, are always good. Base movement speed down. Boots of speed gives 10% increased movement speed on first purchase. Five on the second stack. And three on each after. Reduce from flat 10%. Okay, okay. So before, he used to get two of these, and he was zooming. Now four of these is equivalent to two. Okay. And with the nerf to dodge attack. That's really, really big. How much is 100? Eh, we'll see. Down air attack. Hitbox starts a bit later. Like, like, 
frame data wise does it still hit really high above them if it still hits really high above them that's kind of problematic but uh you know that's okay uh side air attack two increased whiff neutral air increased whiff down air special crystal counts as a projectile for perk application that's good garnet down air attack startup decrease nair increased space knockback Aerial and grounded neutral special. I don't actually know what move this is. I don't know what any of her moves are. Uh, I guess it's a projectile. Slow would be active on frame one, which means projectile is nearly useless. Oh, is this the singing? Sub key. Chi. Thank you for the 15. Side air attack one takes a bit longer before it can be aligning canceled. Okay. Added additional whiff recovery. Okay. Harley. Neutral special. Bomb pierces armor. Harley bomb equipped. No longer counts as... Okay, that's good. Harley bat bomb detonates after 6 seconds even when attached. Mmm. I see. That's good. That's good. Increase time between use when using up air attack. Up air attack, I think, was a confetti move. Mmm. When it's canceled by lining. Okay. Side air attack, slightly more whiff recovery. I think that's good. Nair attack has more whiff recovery to prevent it from being a strong. Okay. I think this is good. Uh, the pit, the move is gigantic. It sucks dodging the first Nair just to have to deal with the second Nair. Uh, and you don't really have any options. So I, I think that's nice. Uh, Jake. What is the side special? Is this the horse? This is the horse, right? Initial movement speed slowed from 2x to 1.5x to give more time for opponents to react. Okay. Up air attack. Okay. Cancel on hit earlier. That's good. Grounded up attack. Can't same thing. Grounded down attack. Okay. Ground neutral attack. Okay. Jake's weight got lowered. That looks like a lot of numbers. That looks like a lot of numbers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jake's stretch punch distance is now based on charge time. Hmm, and the sweet spot only applies if charged for a long enough time. Was it not like that before? Hmm, we'll see. We'll, we'll have to see this in uh, in the game. Grounded side special can be canceled immediately on hit. Nice. Up air attack, that's like the chomp. Multi-hit will combo a bit more reliably. Cool. Grounded up attack, okay. Grounded down attack, okay. Up Air up special. What was air up special? I think that's when you turn into a ball. Movement speed reduced. Okay, that move went really far, really fast. Wow, I'm surprised. Rain Dog kind of got... Rain, Rain Dog's nerfs, if they are nerfs, will be more so from the perk system than from Rain Dog uh, themselves, in my opinion. So I, I think this is good. Shaggy. Shaggy now starts with a sandwich. Nice. Down air special has armor when starting descent, so it's a good lining option. That's good. Grounded up attack. It's like a little swipe up. Has earlier on hit cancel frames and knockback. Pushes the opponent up and forward. That's that's good. Grounded down attack. I think it's a stomp. Faster startup. And Shaggy's base movement speed is he's a little slower. Okay. Steven neutral dodge. This is the bubble. Bubble shield charges and refresh time now shown to the player as an ability cooldown. Good quality of life. Requires 10 stacks from 8 stacks. Is this the bubble? I don't think bubble had to get changed. Bold opponents have more control, and bold opponents have more control over their movement in general. Okay. Air up special, upward movement reduced. What was that? Like the shield? Superman grounded down. Uh. I don't remember. Has armor removed from the attack, but will now break armor. That's cool. Aerial and grounded down special. Oh. Laser has longer range and now applies projectile debuffs. Oh my god. Grounded side special is faster startup and grounded side attack. Jab combo chains to get. Oh, that's, that's tough. That's tough. I think this move is one of the, <laughs> one of the best CCs in the entire game. So I'm a little scared. Um, Taz's attacks retain velocity when branching into other attacks. Oh, that's cool. So he's just flying around everywhere. Holding neutral special keeps Taz's mouth open for longer. Oh, it's the bite. Grounded down attack. That's the stomp. Damn, 63 weight. Oh my god. Everybody's... Not everybody. A lot of characters are getting lighter. 
<clears throat> um, Aerial Grounded Side Special. Additional commitment before you can cancel. That's good. The cancel window came later. Uh, Aerial Grounded Down Special. This is Down Special. Uh, oh, I think that's the projectile. It has ammo. That's a good change. Uh, side Air Special. Task can no longer turn and change direction of the knockback. Oh. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, and then they fixed invisible Taz. All right, goal of these changes are to bring some more risk to the really large reward Tom and Jerry have. Tom and Jerry didn't have enough risks, and his close range attacks were a bit too safe. Okay, uh, down air special dynamite cooldown increased from 9 to 12. It's fine. Up air attack, additional whiff recovery. I think that's good. Down air attack hitbox starts a bit later. Oh, okay. Side arrow attack. Wait, why are you nerfing that move? <laughs> that move sucks. Additional whiff recovery. Okay, bug fix. Jerry slingshot from aerial and grounded neutral special now triggers attack decay. Okay, this was needed. This was this was really dumb. Like it's not often that you're going to hit four Jerry slingshots, but the fact that it wasn't in the game was kind of, you know, kind of not okay. But I think these changes are fine. Uh, Velma, police car health increased. Okay, so it's harder to kill. That's good. Uh, neutral dodge. I don't know what her neutral dodge is. Projectile shield will only turn on if Velma has dodge meter. So you can turn on a projectile shield? The heck? Okay, up air special. Is that the light bulb? Is that the light bulb? Reduce weakened debuff stacks from 5 to 3. Okay. Reduce knockback and reduce size. Okay, that move was kind of cracked. Um, I don't know if I had to get nerfed that hard, but uh, Velma was really good during the last beta. Can no longer cancel during startup. Uh, is that for the up air special? Grounded up special. This is the vial. Increased cooldown from 14 to 28. Oh my god. Uh, and grounded side special. Velma is now only able to cancel the grapple with grounded up attack. The grapple? What's the grapple? Oh, I wonder woman, the last one. Okay. New sound effects to make hits feel more powerful. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the best buff. Side air attack, increased hit pause on hits. It, that means that means there's more CC. That means if you hit side air, uh, I have more time to confirm. Ooh. Slower base movement speed. Wonder Woman speed was causing her to be more oppressive. Okay. Uh at least Tommy Jerry didn't get movement speed in there. Aerial and grounded neutral special. The lasso, lasso's cooldown got gutted. Oh, <laughs> that's that's a big deal. That's a lot of activity that got taken away. Ooh, see, so yeah, at least I I didn't get like cooldown nerfs. I, I can still do everything. Maybe a little slower on my normals, but uh. um, and side air special. What move is this? Is that not the armor move? Movement dist. I think armor move might be down B. Or down special. Movement distance can no longer be controlled to make the attack more committal. Okay. Bug fix. Grounded down attack is now more in line with the visuals. That's cool. That's cool. I think overall this is a good, <clears throat> a good day one patch. Doesn't seem like they jumped the gun really hard on anything. And I think that's really important. Uh, but more so it looks like it looks like they want a lot more opportunities uh, from the opponent to whiff punish what the characters can currently do. Because this game can be really fast. And because of that, there's not that many windows for a lot of characters. So I'm a big fan. Uh, I do hope that we get like a overall wait list and an overall movement speed list to get an idea of uh how impactful or non-impactful these nerfs are uh but oh, overall I, I like this patch a lot i think this is going to be really good for day one yeah the, the ignore projectile thing seems kind of crazy but uh it's not like smokescreen is active at all times of the game uh the one thing that i'm curious about is just 
this just says while in smoke. You know how the bat cave has smoke? Uh, I, I hope this is like while in Batman's smoke screen, Batman and allies ignore enemy projectiles, you know, in comparison to uh, while in smoke, because then that would make that would make Batcave really good for Batman. And, you know, I'm kind of OK with that, but maybe not if it's ignore enemy projectiles, you know, that would be like the strongest counter pick in the entire game. But yeah, the big thing here, I think, is the perk, the kind of perk uh, changes over here, I think will change the game a lot already. So I'm excited. I'm excited.